you've got to be uh, you've got to be resilient just to uh, to learn from your mistakes, not take them personally, and well, and learn from the nose. That may not even be your mistake. It may just not be the right time for that particular customer. And, and part of your your uh, research process, your interrogation process, if you will, of the customer should be to find those kind of things out. But where resilience comes into play is not only getting you through the times when it doesn't seem to be working, um, but also helping you take the long view to understand why the heck it is you're in the business, what it is you're offering, and to make it through the long haul it, it, um, as you get established, especially if you're new in a business. You know, when I uh, when I first started my own company and I was selling communications coaching, I, I had six months before I booked any any revenue, and that was a scary six months. And if I hadn't been convinced that ultimately it'd work out, and I if I didn't love what I was doing so much, then I never would have made it through those six months. So you got to be simply have to be uh, resilient in the face of getting to know what it is you're actually selling or what it is you're actually offering to the customers and how best to connect with them about that. And 